In today's episode, I discuss the effect alcohol has on protein synthesis. Most of you will remember in episode 33 of MJ Everyday, appearing on screen at the moment, I discussed the calories in alcohol and how to incorporate alcohol into your diet for those of you who like to drink socially or drink every now and again, how you actually incorporate the, the calories in alcohol into your diet so that you don't stray too far off track and you can kind of keep keep on track with your health and fitness goals and incorporate that, that social drink or that, that alcoholic drink every every now and again into your diet. Today's episode, I wanna discuss the effect that alcohol has on protein synthesis and how that all kinda of ties in. So most of you would understand that alcohol is actually poisonous to our body, it's toxic to our body, and our body goes to work as soon as you consume alcohol, trying to get it out of our bloodstream, trying to get it out of the system and, and trying to excrete it, trying to get that poison out of our body. The way that our body does that is through our liver. Our liver is responsible for detoxifying our blood. Obviously, if you put something toxic into your blood, such as alcohol, the liver is responsible and the liver becomes preoccupied with getting that, that toxin out of the bloodstream and, and out of your body. Most of you will also understand that your liver is very important when it comes to protein synthesis. Liver is, 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 is everything when it comes to anything in your bloodstream, but particularly important for protein synthesis and protein synthesis, of course, very important for repairing and rebuilding muscle tissue and, and, and improving body composition overall when you incorporate that, uh, that repairing, rebuilding muscle tissue into a body composition goal. So as soon as we consume alcohol, it puts our, it, it preoccupies our liver, it puts our liver under a lot of stress and the liver goes to work right away and and kind of stops doing everything else that it that it can be doing and prioritizes getting rid of alcohol getting alcohol out of the bloodstream and out of our body so that obviously is going to have a negative effect on the liver's ability to be involved in the protein synthesis process and is going to reduce protein synthesis how much by it's generally accepted and you know it depends which study you read and which article you look into but it's generally accepted that it's about a 20 percent decrease in protein synthesis when the liver is preoccupied trying to get alcohol out of our bloodstream and out of our body so it's one thing as i discussed in episode 33 to account for the calories in alcohol and account for how they tie into your caloric intake to make sure you know if you if you're if you're trying to lose weight and not to push you into caloric surplus or if you're in caloric surplus not to put you too far in caloric surplus that you start putting on unwanted body fat that's one side of the argument the other side of the argument is you really have to consider this effect that that alcohol is having on reducing protein synthesis when most of us are trying to do as many different things as we possibly can to increase protein synthesis and therefore allow our body to repair and rebuild muscle tissue and improve our body composition so there's kind of two things that you need to consider when you when you're thinking about incorporating alcohol into your diet and and you know how much alcohol you incorporate into your diet i mean I guess kind of the, you know, this episode combined with episode 33, it's becoming, you know, quite clear that alcohol doesn't really serve a purpose when it comes to uh, to achieving your health and fitness goals and really does kind of take away from it from a macronutrient perspective. You're having to give up the calories and certain macronutrients that could otherwise be assisting you reach a health and fitness goal to make room for alcohol. And then from a protein synthesis perspective, you're having to give up some, some protein synthesis or you're having to give up your body's ability to synthesize protein because your liver becomes preoccupied trying to remove the, the toxic alcohol from your bloodstream. But guys, that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ Every Day. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay massive. 
Thank you for tuning into this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.